Hey man, back here again. Wanted to talk to you guys about my cane use. Now, I told you guys my story. I told you guys some about what my vision entails. Um, I told you guys just like, basically, like what is optic atrophy and what is my vision? Like, what's my vision like? So when I told you guys about my vision, I told you guys that I had optic atrophy and that optic atrophy is damage to your optic nerve. And basically your optic nerves are the wires pretty much, or your nerves, because you know our nerves are our wires in our body, which is connected to your brain, to your eye. And so my optic nerve was not fully developed. And so what that means is, is that I am not able to get, or the optic nerve, the optic nerve is not able to send the send the picture or the message to my brain fully so you know how you look out and then or you send mail and it basically comes back you know basically like it comes back to your house and they say oh no sender or uh return return to sender so basically my optic nerve is basically saying oh no this i can't process this so you guys when I uh, had uh, got diagnosed when I was a kid, up until maybe about four or five years ago, I did not use a cane. I just used assistant technology such as CCTV, use magnifiers, I use large print. I do know how to read Braille. I don't use it though because I either use large print or I listen to my books on tape. Um, so now, I started using my cane maybe about four or five years ago just for awareness for other people because you know I get a lot of oh I can't tell or this and that and I always felt like man maybe that's the wrong reason to use it um, but you know people do need to be aware um, with my vision um, and my vision did progress just a little bit not a lot um, so when I decided to move back home, I knew that I was going to be more mobile. At the Olympic Training Center, I'm mobile, but you know, I can get around, I'm very comfortable. But out in public, basically, when I mean by public, just walking around in the streets to get where I need to go, basically like to the gym or to my training, uh, my training facility, like the track, different things like that, or just being mobile when I'm by myself and I'm not around someone, I need my cane. And I didn't realize that until maybe about two years ago. I'm not gonna lie, you guys. I did struggle a little bit with the cane because uh, it's an image thing. You know, you have this cane and people are like, well, he doesn't need it. Or they start looking at you a certain type of way. Oh, like, oh, he needs help or oh, he can't do this or, or she can't do that or whatever it may be. And we need to flip that and turn that into that just because someone has a cane does not mean that they're, they're not able. It just means that they're using something as an assistive device to get them around or to do what they need to do. And just basically make you aware of what's going on with them. So to sum this up, why I need my cane. My cane basically, um, you know, a lot of times when I'm walking around, I tap the wall sometimes here and there just to see where my, di my dynamiters are. Now, like I said, my left eye, I have worse vision in than my right eye. So a lot of times I'll bump into the wall on the left side, not just like running into the wall, but just tap or whatever it may be, um, just be, some, you know, sometimes I, I do brush, but just because I really can't see out that left side. Now, when I'm walking, I just use it for those things when there's like trees or like branches or 
rocks or cracks in the road at the bottom or whatever it may be. Um, also, I use it definitely for awareness now because I need it. I need for people to be aware when I'm walking on the street that I can't necessarily see you. So if you're in a car and I'm crossing the street, I need them to be aware that if they're waving or if they're just thinking that I'm, I mean, you should, you should be polite to anybody, any pedestrian, but a lot of times you don't get those people. Um, they don't really pay attention to pedestrians. They think that they just own the road. If you're walking across the crosswalk or if you're walking on, you know, it, or just if you're walking on the sidewalk, you know, I may not see you in time for me to move, you know, so I will hope that you are polite in a sense to, okay, he can't see very well. Let me uh, step to the side and walk this way or whatever it may be. Now, you know, I am very polite. I can hear, I can definitely still see things um, to an, a certain extent. And so basically my, car my cane is for awareness. My cane is for objects moving out the way. And you guys, it's very important um, for me because it keeps me safe. I don't use it all the time, especially when I'm with my wife or something like that. I don't necessarily use it um, when I'm around them, but um, I definitely needed to get more comfortable with it. So I know a lot of people saw me with it for the last past two years, everywhere I went. And I pretty much just carry it with me. If I unfold it, if I'm by myself and I feel like I need it, I pull it up. If I don't feel like I need it, I just keep it folded up. Or if I'm with my wife, yeah. I'm with my wife and, you know, she helps kind of direct me, not necessarily, but I'm with, I'm with somebody. I'm with somebody that is I'm comfortable with being around and knowing that I'm going to be okay without worrying about bumping into something or people being aware or whatever it may be. Everybody uses their canes in different ways. Everybody uses their canes for different things. Um, you have some people that are totally blind that definitely needs their cane to, to be able to get around and do their thing. You have some people that are visually impaired. You have some people that are, they, they, hop, they have a higher visual impairment so they can see really better, but maybe they were visually impaired later on in life. And so maybe it's a little bit more difficult for them to navigate through the world. So, you know, I choose, I chose as 25 now being about to turn 28 to start trying to use my cane, not being embarrassed about it and just being open about it and saying like, this is not a sign of weakness at all. And I wanna tell you people that, that this isn't a sign of weakness. It is a sign that I'm using my tool, I'm getting around, I wanna live my life and live the life that I need to live to be successful, be functional and positive. So you guys, cane use, um, subscribe. If you like this video, what you think about cane use, if you uh, have someone that's visually impaired or someone that's blind, refer them to my page, refer them to uh, my foundation, which is called ICU Foundation. I will tell you guys about that in another video. And so yeah, all right you guys, another video. Another time. See you guys. Stay strong.